Welcome to Steve's Basement. So I uh, am now uh, starting this little bit of uh, YouTubing. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff I do on my servers, um, I spend a lot of time on it, and I think um, maybe the time that I spend trying to configure these damn things. Um, if I record what I do, uh, it will save some other guy out there on the internet uh, a lot of time uh, trying to fiddle and diddle with uh, the particular thing they're trying to configure on their computer. So um, what I've done today is, uh, over the past couple of days, uh, basically yesterday and today, is work on IPMI. So the uh, the goal at hand is to be able to uh, control my two basement servers um, using um, IPMI uh, protocol, uh, IPMI protocol 2.0, and basically uh, access them over the network and do a full system uh, power resets, um, be able to um, uh, monitor them as they boot. So you can actually see the whole boot sequence of the server as it's coming up and the shutdown sequence and so on. And what uh, this allows me to do is basically um, keep me or from having to walk from my office in my first floor of my house down to my basement to actually watch the systems reboot in case I do some kind of system configuration and I change their... Uh, I change something, some service or something, and I want to reboot the system and I want to see if it boots up cleanly or not. In the past, I'd have to walk downstairs to the basement and look at the console to see what was going on. And now, with IPMI uh, version 2.0, I can uh, run a, a, a command from my, my workstation upstairs, basically uh, connect to um, uh, a little onboard computer that sits inside these servers and actually get um, a full output, the serial output of the booting sequence. And, um, and also what I can do is I can, uh, using the same IPMI software, I can issue uh, power-offs and power-ons, uh, resets, and so on. So I have full control over the network of my computers. Uh, one of the reasons I went through this whole IPMI uh, sort of, I don't know, uh, project was because um, I heard someone told me at work that uh, one could uh, do this, what they call out-of-band um, control of the, um, of the servers. And I wanted to go through a server upgrade of my computers and I started looking into this IPMI uh, protocol. And um, it turns out to be um, uh, something that's being used in data centers. Um, uh, so the large data centers where they have racks of computers. Uh, you, you don't have um, a console and monitor that you hook up to each one of the computers. And so you have a hundred of these things, you're hooked up to the network, so you want to be able to control them over the network. And um, in order to do this kind of control, you need a special motherboard. You need a motherboard that supports the IPMI protocol. Uh, typically, it's the server type motherboards that, that provide this. Uh, uh, the two that I found uh, were the, um, the Intel motherboards and the Supermicro motherboards. Uh, Tyen and Asus and those other motherboards, their server motherboards have. Uh, on a, a separate attachment, you have to buy a little card that you plug into the motherboard in order to provide this IPMI protocol stuff. So uh, as I was doing my research, I decided to um, uh, invest in the Intel motherboard. Uh, Intel uh, were the ones that, I believe it was Intel, it was Intel or IBM, um, that, I believe it's Intel. Anyway, Intel uh, pushed no, I think it was IBM. Anyway, one of those two. <laughs> they pushed the whole uh, uh, standard. Um, I figured, for some reason, my gut feeling said that Intel probably has a better standard. I don't know why. Um, and when I was surfing on the internet, I saw there was a bit more um, manuals and how-tos on 
the Intel motherboard support for IPMI than uh, the others. Um, and if you look, there's the Dell servers, those use the Intel motherboards, and then there's a lot of stuff, or there's some stuff on the Supermicros, and there's very little on the Asus on the tie-in that I could see. So anyway, so I went off, I got my motherboards, <clears throat> I did the upgrades, I've, got, I've already YouTube the upgrading of these systems, so if you want to look at that, there's YouTube's galore, I've got like 45 minutes of stuff, very boring stuff, <laughs> on the whole upgrade of this stuff of these servers. Uh, so now I got the servers upgraded and then I went off and I started the, uh, the IPMI project. Uh, I'm not going to go into what exactly I did to get it going. It was complicated, it was hard, it was difficult. I'll try to give a summary in a separate YouTube. But what I want to do now is give you a demo of what, what I've got going for me now that I've done this whole IPMI stuff. Um, to break it down into a nutshell, there is a, um, a set of software that comes with Linux called Open on PMI. Uh, it's, uh, you can, if you, if you go off and you purchase the Red Hat Enterprise Linux um, um, software, uh, and you install that, it comes with the Enterprise Linux 5.2, that's what I've got installed. And, um, you, and once you enable this, the drivers and so on to make it work and you set up the onboard computer with the appropriate IP addresses and all that, what you end up having is a command called IPMI tool and using it you can connect to a serial output that you've configured on your server. So now the server is set up such that it sends all its serial output to the, this single board computer. So BMC is what they call it, this onboard computer. And through that onboard computer, it sends a serial over LAN. It's called serial over LAN. And using an IPMI tool, you connect to it, and then effectively, it's like it's almost like doing like a telnet or an SSH, but you're going to a special port on this uh, on your server. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to focus now on my um, on my console here so you can see what exactly is going on, all right? So give me a second. <clears throat> 